What we're looking for is weed yep. um, in the grill, in particular the grill area, and any weed that's caught on the trailers as they've just backed them in down here. So it's weed for that, and then all we're doing is just giving a bit of a squirt for uh, lake snow in, in Didymo inside the boats. So. Boats pulling out of the water in the Clutha here and wrapping up day seven. And in the background, you can see they're actually getting sprayed off. Well, that's because of the Didymo. That was actually bought into the country by you Canadians and fishing gear. But hey, we're stopping that spread around the country, and it certainly hasn't come into the North Island. And it's very important to do this. And we saw some very fast racing action coming down the Clutha here. A couple of turbines, Regan and John, out front again. Yeah, well, I said the turbines would dominate today, but hey, Roger Preston was sort of a little bit lucky. He, he caught the pulley, and of course, at about 10 minutes off, and he got caught up in his wake and nearly spun out. But he's got to be careful. He drives extremely hard. So he pulled up on Ben Baxter there and actually passed him pretty early on the run. So unfortunately, Ben Baxter, who come in fourth overall, he uh, had some uh, difficulties there. Oh, we got passed by about seven or eight boats, I think. Anything sort of over three or four thousand revs, and then it would just rev around, lose everything. I'm guessing there's something jammed in there somewhere. And Cameron Moore and his piston-powered boat ended up finding a few more mile an hour coming downstream. Well, he did have Ryan Rogers' as uh, pit man, Chris Christie, helping him, and he certainly knows how to get speed out of those boats. Then we had um, about five minutes to, um, to catch on them, so we just put the hammer down and I was shattered by the end of it, I said, Dad, I can't even hold the steering wheel, you know, like just that constant force on your arms and no power steering or anything in the boat, so, yeah, but great fun, enjoyed it. River's up a bit compared to when we'd pre-boated it, and uh, that bit of extra water covers up a few of the rocks so you can cut a few of the corners. We've seen Mark Agnew come in first in the CX class, but his uh, lead is tightening up a little bit there. Yeah, but Mark will be careful for tomorrow, you know, that Dart River will suit him because he's a local guy. Greg Simpson in the FX class, he had some really clean legs today and probably put him on the top. Yeah, but those classes, that class is very close racing because controlled engine at 300 odd horsepower and there's only two to three mile an hour and then it, which, which stream you take and how clean a run you have and you've only got to have a spin out or a grounding and then you get a DNF. All right, that wraps up day seven. Very exciting three legs here today. Where are we off to tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, of course, we're going to the Dart, and that's a challenging braided river, up and down, no servicing at the top, and then we're off to Queenstown for a circuit race. Depending on the weather there, if it's windy, it'll be very rough.